Hi guys, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in the new video of construction management of G plus 10 story building using Microsoft project. In this video, I am going to provide you a step by step introduction of the cash flow. Okay, what is cash flow and how it can be monitored with respect to the estimated cost in earlier videos. So before starting this video, I would like to thank you everyone that you subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you for the support and stay tuned for the more video like this. Okay, so guys you can see here we have the cost. This cost is an estimated cost which we identify from the resources. But now what is the actual cost? Actual cost is the cost which is incurred, okay, which is incurred for the actual site, okay, like the documentation. We budgeted 28,000, but we required only 25,000, okay. Whatever the cost required for this particular work is only 25,000. What does it mean? It means that particular resource utilize his proper time to complete his task, okay, right. He do he done the work in limited time, okay? Like that particular scenario we can consider. But what if instead of twenty eight thousand two eighty we require thirty thousand? It means the excess amount is means the task usage more, okay? Like resource utilize more cost, okay? Cost overrun, time overrun, okay? So these concepts basically link with the cost. When you put the actual cost, it reflects you very good information about the rest of the documentation like cost variance, S-curve, earned value analysis, variances, okay, all this scenario. Now I would like to provide you one more information before starting the video is variances. Variance is nothing but a difference, very simple, okay. This variance is like whatever you estimated. Okay, like 180 rupees is estimated cost and you incurred 80 rupees, it means zero variance. It means there is no any extra cost, okay, no any extra cost overrun. But what if that you have 80 rupees of cost, which is estimated, like which is a basic cost, okay, and you required 100 rupees to complete the particular task. So it means that 80 minus 100 okay like estimated minus actual cost that is called as a minus of 20 rupees which is the cost overrun okay which is a variance of the minus 20 rupees now let's come to the entry of the actual cost it is not that easy to put cost over here okay the whatever the actual cost incurred for the project or any particular activity you cannot directly enter here because it is not editable you can see okay for that what you have to do first of all just click here go to the task form if you go to the task form you can see there is a id of the like um, id of the resources like at what particular id it is uh, working okay and after that like this is a task name for this particular task what is the resource utilized over here you can see very easily okay now here you can see the percentage completion but before that it is very important to provide the cost column over here so just right click on work and click on the cost okay so now you can see this particular task is having a resource of the engineer which is 100% utilized the 28,280 rupees is a cost which is a budgeted now let's put the cost here so you can see still it is not editable okay still it is not editable because we not had done any settings but let me provide you the information how we can how MSP calculate based upon the percentage so MSP, like if I consider the 50 percentage of work, it will provide me the cost. Okay. It will provide me the cost properly. Okay. Just click on effort driven. Okay. You can see the actual cost. Okay. So I need to uh, remove this one. Okay. So you can see the actual cost is provided here. If I change this to some another percentage, you can see the cost will be changed definitely. Okay, so that is one of the important parameter. But what if that I want to provide this cost manually? That's for that we need to go to the file, go to the option. Okay, and after that you need to go to the schedule and come down and click here at the bottom. Always actual costs are always calculated by project. Untick this particular data and click on edit to the total actual cost will be spread in the status date and click on OK. So what 
what is the meaning of this okay as you provided 70 percent it took the cost of 7 25,000 it takes some time to reflect the cost okay don't worry about it so now I want to edit this particular cost so what I can do I just double click on this okay and now I can edit the cost over here okay you can see I can edit the cost so now I think uh, I want like uh, 26,000 what I incurred so just put here based on that my remaining cost will be calculated now if I go to this particular GAN chart you can see the 26,000 over here okay now you can put entries here also okay but it is essential guys to put an entry by a resource wise so that's why don't put entries over here okay so in this way you can provide the actual cost in MSP in next video when I come I'll definitely provide you more information about this but still that have a nice day